I feel like being a security guard has to be a pretty entertaining job. It's just that I wouldn't do it. I, you can't. You think you, you can't pay me enough. Basically, uh, to be dealing with folks, be trying to wrestle folks and 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 and, and take stuff that they trying to steal out the store. I don't. You can't pay me enough. I'm not trying to be doing all that. That's a little bit much, especially. And I'm not. And I'm not gonna be doing it for no little. Ten dollar, twelve dollars an hour. You feel me? Like, I had a one job. I had one job. They had me working at the front door, and like, it was when um, they were mandating masks. Y'all know how that went, and that's when I was like, I, I gotta quit this job. I can't do this. It's like, I'm not making enough money to be wrestling and arguing with folks all day it's, for no reason. I'm not gonna say it was for. It's for a reason, but it's like. I'm not your mom, I'm not your daddy, so if you don't want to put it on, then I, that, that's on you. Just on you, feel me? But anyway, I said all this to say, being a security guard, yeah, I I just feel like you just see, like, the stuff that you see going on in the store is just mind-boggling. Like, what we back into now, this is dumbest criminals who got caught on camera. So with no further ado, because I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Everyone loves a good old-fashioned heist. The setup, the sleight of hand, the team of criminal geniuses all working in perfect harmony to pull off the crime of the century. Then you've got your mastermind. Think George Clooney from the Ocean's Eleven series. The kind of dude who walks away from explosions with his back turned. But not all crooks are created equal. Life rarely... I wonder how many heists have actually worked in real life. Like people sitting down playing it. We gonna be coming from the sky. Somebody gonna be coming from underneath through a tunnel. We gonna open up your safe room, take all the money, climb down the ladder, sew it back up, or whatever you seal it back up, and we gonna jet. I wonder how many times that has actually worked. I feel like it's very little. Like in the last hundred years, I'd probably say, and I'm completely ignorant of this, but I'd probably say. No more than, no more than three, no more than three, no more than three. I just feel like it can't, that can't be, that can't happen too often. That's what makes it so great. You know what I mean? But mm. imitates art. And for every I mastermind, mean, there are 100 fools. So which bad guys are forgetting the keys to the getaway car? Which thieves haven't thought things through? Ready to meet the world's dumbest criminals? <laughs> Let's get it on. Sometimes it pays to take a step back and think outside the box. After all, for every robber in the movies, there's a crafty cop hot on their wheels. A store owner was tired of getting broken into, so he decided to design a trap worthy of any Hollywood script. The would-be burglar is funneled into a room and trapped. Pick a door, any door, it doesn't matter, because none of them can be opened. As the door closes behind him, you get a real sense of his panic. No matter what he tries, he's trapped, just like a rat in a cage. He batters the doors for an hour, breaking his hammer in the process before police finally oh. arrive. Luckily, the store owner was kind enough to leave a tap in the trap room, trying to escape his thirsty work. Perhaps our next trio oh, of dummies of- I wonder what that moment was like where it really sinks in, like these doors are not opening. I'm going to jail, like I'm caught this. Oh, so much regret with just sink in this horrible, stupid, bad decision. Ah, <laughs> you're going to jail. Watched a few too it's many movies. Jail. We doubt that a bar would have laser beams ready to trip an alarm. Thieves and criminals are often referred to as snakes, so the pair did their very best impression, slithering their way along the floor on a quest to empty out the register. After work drinks on a Friday night would generally have you crawling out of the bar, not into one. The cops have dubbed these guys the inchworm bandits, and they reportedly <laughs> made off with just the tips from the jar. You want most robberies to run smoothly like they got away with me. Think like stealing same, candy from a baby. There's a reason why you've never heard the saying, as easy as stealing a bike from a heavily staffed police station. Bolt cutters? Check. Face masks? Check. Station. Having what aspirations is... that exceed your capabilities? Ho <laughs> ho! Double check! Yeah, this is easy. Yeah, you deserve to have one. Divide and conquer, right? 
who who feels the a bike from a police exactly station? Like the police are not right there. And what we can safely assume is the world's fastest bust. We bet the cops are getting really tired of these people pushing their luck. This next would-be crook is a great example of how not to pull off the perfect heist and doing everything in your own power to ruin your own plan. It's a surefire bet as either way, you're the hero of your own story. Step 1. Choose to rob a vape store in a place that probably carries very little cash. Step 2. Her feet to be instantly disarmed. Step 3. Attempt to climb over the glass display cabinet, leaving two immaculately placed handprints for the cops. Step 4. Run away in style with your pants falling down around your ankles. Vlad the inhaler is running on fumes. His plan went up in smoke. <laughs> nice try. Close, but How no cigar. How you fumbled a strap? A strap. I don't want them to get any stitches. How you fumbled a strap, bro? You that rattled? It's a, why are you selling from a vape store? You're not selling no more than $175. Vaping is not that serious, I promise you. You could go to any random club, find some drunk folks, ask them to use their vape, they're gonna pass it to you. It's not that serious, but how you gonna drop the strap? That don't suck. There are fewer actions that are more brazen than shoving a $600 chainsaw down your pants and casually walking out of a store. Famous actors stuff their jocks, sure, but this is taking it to a whole other level. Thankfully, it this wasn't an electric start model. Oh, Workers in the store did notice the daredevil shoplifter. Anybody However, he made a quick getaway on his bike, evil Knievel style. He was okay. nabbed by police after ditching the chainsaw in the woods, but returning to claim his prize 40 minutes later. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. Okay, so you've heard of causing a ruckus and raising the roof, but have you ever heard of bringing down the ceiling? This bumbling couple went to great heights to fool owners of a local convenience store when they attempted to use a stolen credit card to pay for a $4.39 packet of popcorn. The owners called police on the suspicious duo, and when the cops arrived, Coward used his girlfriend as a human shield in order to try to get away. The woman ran into the back room, seemingly a dead end. Inspiration strikes. Perhaps the way out is actually up. Channel Catherine Zeta Jones in Entrapment, she does her best cat burglar impression and squeezes her way into the air vents. Her hopes of freedom come crashing down, and so does she, through the ceiling onto a not so soft set of shelves. Not all crimes are planned, sometimes you just fall into it. Stop, drop, and roll. Not only useful when putting yourself out if you catch a light, but also good for avoiding motion detector sensors when pulling off a heist. A pizza store owner had installed a series of external and internal cameras that captured the whole bizarre event. Thieves were seen rolling around on the floor all the way to the back room. After breaking in successfully with a crowbar through a glass window in the front of the store, lightning would strike twice as that same handy crowbar would peel the safe apart like an orange. To their dismay, there was nothing of value in the safe. But they didn't leave empty handed. They stole a drill, a speaker, a flashlight, and toys from the game room. Not at all the haul they were hoping to brag about. This is a case of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Cash. The answer to many of life's so problems is often a great big hammer. Its methods of persuasion are simple, the results are generally instant and forthcoming. Our band of thieves seem to have it all worked out. An old fashioned quick smash and grab. Covered with long sleeved clothing and motorcycle helmets, it's great to see that the safety first initiative extends to the less savory types in society. Unfortunately, toughened polycarbonate cabinets can be a harsh mistress. No matter how hard you try, they just won't give up the goods. In the space of under a minute, it's gone from potential payday and hammer time to empty handed and having your dreams shattered instead of that's the jewelry gotta, cabinet. Oh, that's gotta blow you. It's not only monocle wearing old men in tuxedos and top hats who can appreciate a fine work of art. No, you don't have to resemble the Monopoly man for a beautiful painting to draw your keen eye. Our next dope fancies taking him a rather large souvenir from his lovely day trip out to the gallery. Covering your face to hide your identity is so 2000 and late. Real geniuses hide stuff stolen goods rather conspicuously in their jackets. <laughs> Let's face it, nobody will notice. Change of approach, how about you just walk out with it under arm, nonchalantly whistling a tune while you do so. No one will suspect a thing. <laughs> well, too bad for this amateur. He was caught by staff as soon as he tried to leave the premises. Maybe he can create his own masterpiece with a pencil and notepad just... from a jail cell.
I just think at this in point, game, people just want to do your mission just boils try down to how game. well players work as a team, and friendly fire isn't tolerated. Generally, the fastest way to break into storefront glass windows is with a brick, and this pair came well prepared. In a sudden plot twist, Bill ends up braining Ted with a poorly timed, inaccurate brick shot that would make a stormtrooper blush. Nothing says good Samaritan like stopping a robbery, even if it's your own. Good friends keep their buddies on the straight and narrow path of righteousness. <laughs> Looks like this. So who is that all though? Is that on the person who threw the brick? Is he, you know what I'm saying? Is it his timing or is it on person? Because you ran in front of me. You threw your brick and ran in front of me knowing I'm about to throw a brick. So is it on the brick thrower or the accomplice? That's all I want to know. This is very stupid. And I feel like the video speaks for itself, so I don't got to say too much. But I just want to know what y'all think. Who is it on? The accomplice? Or the break the road. Please let me know. Hey, play. This guy succeeded. Man down! In this week's episode of When Fences Fight Back, our hapless thief shows us I that while breaking in is generally fight. the easy part of a robbery, sometimes you just can't catch a break. In show business, they say break a leg. We aren't entirely sure why this egghead took the most literal meaning. It all starts off rather well. Uh, see him fiddling with the gate leg. hinges for a while until success. It seems Lady Luck is on this thief's side as the gate comes free from its mounts. But in a cruel twist of fate, the heavy steel gate falls back on him, crunching his uh, leg between between the metal bars and the unyielding concrete. He tries to get up but falls straight back down. His leg is busted. <laughs> Lady Luck smiles again for him, as it turns out that a crowbar makes a great walking stick. We see him making the world's slowest getaway. <laughs> Rumor has it that our guy tried to sue the homeowner for damages, but it was thrown out of court. The judge said he didn't have a leg to stand on. Desperate times it. call for desperate measures. Short of a few bucks, there isn't a more cliched last ditch effort than trying to rob a jewelry store. Our man seems normal enough, smiles, says hello to the jeweler, asks to try on a gold chain that's caught his eye. The store owner doesn't suspect a thing. He's completely unaware that he's about to be the victim of a completely hilarious crime. He must like the way it feels around his neck, because the next minute he flees to the door at fantastic speed. There's only one problem, he's locked in. <laughs> This isn't the jeweler's first rodeo. He calmly asks for the chain back before calling the police. Our robber must have been feeling pretty stupid when he was marched into the station and charged. If Diamond. Hey, I'm not kidding. Hey, I am. At that point, do you kind of like. Do you, do, you, do you kind of beg to be let free? Like, bro, come on, bro. You, you, you got the chain back. You know what I'm saying? Just let me go. Or. or do you just take that to your chin and just wait? <laughs> oh, you locked it. So when did he lock the doors? I didn't see him lock the doors. I didn't see, like, does it lock from the inside? Can you lock the door from the inside? Yeah, you can lock the door from the inside. So does it lock from the inside? You feel me? Wait. Because if you lock the door from the inside, once it's locked, it's locked. So you can't open it from the outside if it's locked. So, yeah. When did you press a button? I didn't see nothing happen. I didn't see you press nothing. How did that happen? They didn't, they didn't just, yeah. Again, are a girl's questions. best friend, then we can say that gold chains are most definitely not even this man's brief acquaintance. Look at that but button. That was very pathetic. When you're the victim of multiple burglaries, you go back to the drawing board and learn from your mistakes. This Canadian mobile phone repair shop owner did just that. Mobile phones are small, high-value items and prime targets for would-be thieves. Her employees now put all expensive items safely away after their shift, locked up for the night. She used her mobile technology know-how to her advantage by installing a security camera system linked directly to her phone. So when she got a notification on her screen, she logged in to watch the drama unfold before her very eyes. A trap isn't complete without a spring. A curved security gate acting to contain the break and enter. You can crawl in, but you can't crawl out. While the crook is frantically searching for an exit, police are already on their way to take him to jail. When they arrive, they even help untangle him from the net. There's that famous Canadian politeness at work. 
that. We're all it's taught so to always really tell the truth, and that lies just get us into so more trouble. Really Not every criminal is a thief in a mask, so. and it turns out the police take fraud very, very seriously. After scattering ice cubes on the floor of a business, this man deserves an Academy Award for his excellence well, in acting. Pretending he had slipped over and smashed his head onto the hard floor, he filled out an insurance claim for the slip and fall and a shameless cash oh, grab for a juicy lucrative payout. This is a Weasley move, and you one his mother would most definitely put him in time that. out for. Unfortunately for him, fraud is a serious crime. He was arrested and charged after the footage was given to police. For the crime of premeditated stupidity, we find this man guilty. And the thing is that you better young, like you're not young, sir, sir. You're not young. You're, 60, you're 65 plus. You're 65 plus. That's like, you're going down. But, um, that's what I'm saying. As a, as a security guard, as a security officer, you have to see some fantastic, like, mind-blowing things. Like, I got to tell somebody what I just, what, what just happened at work, because this is ridiculous. Like, there are really idiotic people out there and i hope that you viewer are not one of them but <laughs> anyway that's gonna be it for my reaction y'all if you enjoyed this reaction make sure you like comment share subscribe and i'll be back with you guys next time i'm out